Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I have to whisper because Carlos and the dogs are still sleeping. Hello, I just woke up five minutes ago and I have an appointment to go to in the next 45 minutes. So I wanted to sit here and hang out with you guys. And also this is my attempt number two to get ready with you. Today is not gonna be like a full coverage Slay catfish makeup tutorial. The reason I say catfish is if you guys have been watching my makeup tutorials, you know I can catfish with makeup. So today we're not doing that. Just something light kind of every single day. And I also figure I would answer some questions because the last time I asked for you guys to send me questions on Instagram, I got so many questions and we only got a chance to go through a couple in the last video so I thought today would be a good idea to get ready but also answer some questions and hang out with each other this morning I am so sorry that I miss what was it Monday yeah I'm so sorry I missed Monday's video if you guys watched yesterday's vlog the Valentine's Day fail which if you haven't please check it out <laughs> Carlos and I had a pretty crazy day on Valentine's Day let's see I'm trying to find I don't know why when I wake up this super early I'm so hungry I really could use a coffee. Oh, here we are. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom and let's get ready. Okay, so you guys already know about this. The first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize because I did just rinse my face this morning. And this is the moisturizer that I started using literally two days ago. And I have been obsessed with it. It's this one right here. So I'm going to put... If you guys hear that sound, um, I'm wondering when my neighbor's moving in because that sound is construction next door. All of the neighbors on the street are pretty much moved in except my next door neighbor. And I'm wondering where they are because I'm very, very excited. I'm very excited to meet them. And I also wanted to give out housewarming presents for all my neighbors. So I'm just when I'm just I'm just wondering and waiting. Tomorrow's the day that I go to get my lip injections with Joanna, and I'm so excited. It's been like two years since I've gotten lip injections. I actually dissolved them two years ago because I was kind of over it, and now I really want them again. I'm very very excited. Okay, for foundation today, I have to tell you guys I got the. I got the right color, but they sent me the wrong color. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible right here. You guys, this is the new talk in town, but it's sold out everywhere. I checked everywhere online. I checked Ulta, CVS, Walmart, Target, all sold out. This is very, very popular right now. It's a powder foundation. And I really, really want this to work because I think it could be a great dupe for the Fenty powder foundation, which I have in my collection. So I'm excited to share that with you guys, but I basically found it online a week and a half ago and I, I ordered True Beige and Golden Beige. And True Beige is coming Thursday in the mail. And then I got an email that says, hey, Golden Beige was delivered. I got so excited. I was like unpacking it and I realized they sent me the wrong color. They sent me 10 porcelain. <laughs> so this is not my color. So I cannot try this out for you guys. Instead, I just bought this foundation on Sephora um, a week ago, and this is the Urban Decay Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator, medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. I'm so sorry, I forgot to say, I forgot to say that stay naked part. This is the foundation right here. I got the shade 40 light medium. I did wear this two days ago, and when I went outside, Carlos noticed that it was a shade too dark, and when I was doing my makeup in the studio here, I didn't see it, but outside you could tell it was a little too dark so i'll have to go one shade lighter so whatever is under 40 light medium but i'm gonna use a little bit of this today you guys just a little bit because i have to use um i have to wear a mask and oh do you guys agree full coverage a lot of makeup with a mask i just feel like oh i feel so gross under but okay so we're gonna use a little bit of this i'm not gonna do primer today because I wanna see how this works. When I did wear this on Monday, I didn't notice that it oxidized, so that's good. So if you're worried about it oxidizing, it didn't really oxidize on me. However, I do suggest that you set this Find a really good powder and make sure you set it because since it's a hydrating foundation and you don't set it, it's gonna get very oily and very glowy. Like I did not set it well on Monday and at the end of the day, I was, I was looking like a glow ball. 
it was crazy i'm just gonna use this much you see how it's not a water-based foundation even though it says hydrating you're not gonna get anything too watery too liquidy it has a really nice consistency i actually prefer this so i feel like it grips onto my skin better and one thing i've noticed is that you can go really light you can go medium or you can go full coverage this is definitely buildable it makes your face look very very airbrushed and i feel like if you are dry and combination skin you're gonna love this if you're oily i would stay far away from this because i thought it was just like a little bit too slippery throughout the day so i'm gonna take this i need a i need a better mirror here i'm going to oh i still have some dry some dry patches around my nose i'm going to focus on my cheeks where i am the most red or i have the most pigmentation i am going to take the sigma round kabuki f82 brush such an oldie but a goodie i'm gonna use a brush i'm sure a beauty blender would look just as pretty i just cannot find my beauty blender right now and i am personally a beauty blender person i don't really use brushes but if you want full coverage i definitely would suggest a brush and then going in with the beauty blender but i'm going to just use this foundation and lightly dab it into the areas that have the most redness. So that would be my cheek area. And you just wanna dab lightly. You can already see it's covering up the redness really well. So today I'm doing a little bit lighter, but the other day when I tried this for the first time, I did like a dime size on each side of the face and oh my God, the coverage was beautiful. I'm going to blend this and you want to spread the product wherever you want the most coverage. to uh, tweeze my eyebrows there. So this is obviously light coverage. Um, oops, sorry phone. It still looks pretty good. I really like it. I just need a shade lighter. And then we are going to set it with powder. This one is discontinued. <laughs> I know a lot of people messaged me on Instagram and said, oh my God, did they restock it? And so this is my Holy Grail powder. It is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. Now here's the thing. For some weird reason, Maybelline discontinued this three years ago and I still can find it on Amazon. It's probably like their last few batches, but it's still available on Amazon if you guys search it. I love this powder and I'm very thankful that I have backups. And basically what Maybelline said was they reformulated it to be better and now it's in like a round container. In my opinion, their new formula sucks. I love this one. This one was so, so good. And I know that I got a lot of you guys hooked on this. And when it was discontinued, I think we were all devastated. This is so good. It was way better than any high-end powder I ever tried. And I'm devastated that they took it off the shelf and said they reformulated it because I don't believe in that. It's not that good. The new one's not that good. So I'm going to get this Morphe E56 brush. I love this because it's super dense when I want full coverage. And so I'm going to take a little bit of my discontinued powder. Oh my God, was I supposed to be answering questions? I don't even know why I wanted to do that because you know your girl can't multitask. Maybe? Okay, I'm just gonna gently dab that into the places that I put the foundation. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but even just a little bit of coverage is nice. So, I feel like the older that I get, the more natural I like my makeup and the less I like my makeup. I feel like if you guys have been here since like 2015, 2016, 2017, I was like full on full coverage, huh? Like I did a lot of highlight, I did really dark brows, I did thick foundation, always big lips, uh, dark lips, and I feel like as I get older and as life gets busier too, to be honest, you just don't really got time to be sitting there, right? But I do, however, once in a while, just love getting ready. 
and just love sitting here for like two or three hours. Like I remember when I would go to events, I would start getting ready like three hours in advance, sometimes four, because then I would have to like go to LA, which takes another hour. And uh, you know, those were the good days, but my life has changed as you guys can tell. And so as life changes, I think you just get busier and busier and you don't have time to be sitting there for three or four hours every single day. But it feels so good once in a while to just, you know, do a full face and, and feel pretty and nice. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of powder. You guys see how matte it is? I love that look. Because throughout the day, my skin is going to kind of make it look very, very glowy with all the stress and oilness. I'm gonna go in with um, a bronzer. I love this bronzer. This is the Hoola Benefit bronzer. We all love this. I personally don't like to bronze a lot. I just feel like it makes me look muddy. You'll really never see me bronze too much. If I want to stay on the safe side, I actually love Light Hula. The lighter version is really nice. I also love this one by Too Faced, their Sun Puppy Bronze. Look at this cute container, product development container. <laughs> How cute is this? I love this one because it's got a nice neutral blush with it, so it looks more natural. I am, actually, let me use this one today. No, which one should I use, you guys? Ooh. Okay, let's use this one today. I am going to take this on a very fluffy brush. Oh, this one's my favorite. This is the Morphe M527. I love this one. Hey, I love sitting here and hanging out with you guys. How fun is this? I feel like we're getting ready together and just chilling and hanging out. So I take my brush and I dab it all over so it gets a mixture of everything. And I just slowly and gently, like I'm barely, barely pressing into my skin. And I'm also holding it really far away, so it's got really nice strokes. But I basically want to bronze and bring a little bit of color back into my life. As you guys can tell, there's already starting to be like a little bit of a shadow. We love that. This is so nice. We love, we love. I feel like this is a very appropriate routine if you're going to school, if you're just going to work, you're going to get groceries, do you want to get the mailbox, things like that, you know? It's just putting look to, looking put, what am, oh my God, it's too early. Looking put together with just a little bit of makeup, a little bit. Like I feel like my best friend Brooke would love this routine. Also, speaking of best friend Brooke, so Brooke recently just got a coffee machine and it's really, really cute and all, but I'm very intimidated by coffee machines because I don't know how to use them personally. And so Brooke is so cute. Let me show you guys. So I was on FaceTime with her last night and I was like, I'm really into coffee these days. And she kind of started laughing because she was like, you've never been into coffee. That means you're either really stressed out or you got a lot of shit going on. And so she was like, you really need to get a coffee machine instead of, instead of buying McDonald's coffee every day. And Carlos and I were like, yeah, I know. Like we've thought about it. We just don't really know what coffee machine to get. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But Brooke is so freaking cute. So she just recently got a coffee machine. It's really nice. I don't, I think it's called like De, Lo De Longni or something, De Loggi. So I don't know, some like really bougie name. And since she knows that I didn't know how to use it, um, she sent me tutor like video tutorials. <laughs> over text this morning and it's so sweet but i might get the machine that brooke gets i'm not too sure yet it looks she gave me the tutorial and it looks very very easy you know a girl just might i'm very very excited then we can like make coffee together every morning that'll be fun do you guys have any suggestions on like coffee machines or what i should be buying the thing with me is like i'm such a fake coffee drinker like i say this all the time i'm more of like i would like my cream with a little bit of coffee you know so my favorite creamer like my favorite sweet creamer is the one from starbucks it's so Oh, good like I just love that taste like if you're a barista at Starbucks I know that a lot of you guys have been messaging me. And it's like Kim. It's literally two things You can make it at home, but please leave a comment leave a comment down below and just let me know But 
I love the sweet creamer at Starbucks. It's like just so fatty and creamy and it's so good. I have tried buying the creamers at like Target, like the Coffee Mates, but it doesn't taste the same to me. So if I can nail the creamer, I can drink any coffee. Also speaking of coffee, I would love to show you guys how to make Vietnamese coffee with the little like coffee fins in a vlog this weekend. I think that'll be so much fun. So I think we're gonna do that. But hey, what were we doing, bronzer? Let's do bronzer. Oh, my lips are chapped again. It's always like the inside of my lips that are chapped. The outside is not chapped. But I need to moisturize because tomorrow your girl's gonna, sh sh you know? So let's do blush. I want to use this one because I used it in the last video. This is the Rare Beauty. Hi, cute packaging. This is the Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral Melting Blush. And it is basically this. It's like a little putty as people would say it, um, consistency. I had a brush here. Mm, there you go. I'm just gonna use this like random face brush from Huda Beauty. And basically you wanna take a, a dense brush. You don't wanna like super dense like this because I feel like it'll be hard to spread. I would go for something that is dense on the tip but has really nice movement. You see how we can still move this around? So dense but have movement. And then you're just gonna dab. This part literally breaks my heart because this product is so cute. And then you're gonna use a little mirror and we're just going to gently dab that onto the cheeks. You already see the I'm so excited. I love this product after the first time using it. I think it's so pretty. And I would say this color was a good choice, nearly neutral. It is what it says, it's nearly neutral. Like look at that, no blush. I feel like if you're a neutral kind of person, you're gonna love, love this uh, blush. And I felt like it stayed on my face pretty well as well. I just, I love how subtle it is. It's so freaking pretty. And it doesn't feel um, oily on the skin. Everything is super light. By the way, this foundation feels really nice on the skin. I don't know if I said that earlier. Um, it doesn't feel heavy at all. I love the color payoff. I actually like this kind of formula better than like liquid blushes because those are intimidating to blend out, right? Once you put them on, you feel like you have to blend it out so quickly. And I feel like this blends out way better. You guys see how like spring and summery we feel? I love. Sometimes I'll put a little on my nose just to tie it all together. I have a dry skin right here. I'm going to skip my brows, but I'm gonna show you a lip gloss that I always get a stuffy nose in the morning. I'm gonna show you a lip gloss that I love. It's these new Maybelline Lifter glosses and they're amazing. I'm gonna go in with the color Silk. They're not sticky at all and they got a little bit of color, but not too much color. And I just love them so much. I definitely highly suggest these. These are about like six or seven dollars and they're really, really good. Oh my God, monochromatic, we love that. I love this color. This is 004 Silk. This is my favorite color. It's really, really pretty. It's so pretty. I'm only... Oh my God, you guys are so right. A lot of you guys commented and said, Kim, don't use Vaseline. I think it makes your lips worse. Use Carmex, Carmex, right? I'm gonna go get that today because I don't think Vaseline is, is working. But yeah, this is my um, very natural, no makeup makeup look. You could go in with like a little brow tint, but I currently don't have one and I'm trying to not to put any product on. But thank you for hanging out with me. I am going to be late if I don't leave right now. I have like five minutes and I'm gonna take my morning poo poo. But hello, Mr. Bear. Thank you for hanging out with me. Have you guys noticed like how do you, is it such thing as training yourself to multitask? I can multitask like when I'm cooking, but doing makeup and answering questions, I don't know how people do it. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is my um, no makeup makeup look, and I think it's so perfect if you are somebody that doesn't love, love makeup, and it's so easy as well. Oh, wait. Get these lip liners. These um, NYX Cosmetics 
professional makeup lip pencils. Oh my god, they're so good. I got all of mine on Amazon. They range depending on the color. Like some colors were $6, some colors were $4. So freaking, freaking good. This is amazing. And oh, I also bought this, a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation. We'll have to use this in a next makeup tutorial. But hey, once the studio's done, your girl is coming back with makeup tutorials. Doing makeup is so soothing. And I love just sitting here and hanging out with you guys. I know you guys love the vlogs. I love the vlogs, but there are some days where I don't want to vlog because I'm human and I have freaking shit to go through too. And sometimes life is fucking hard, man. And I don't want to be showing my life. Sometimes I want to take a personal day and I mean if you guys really think about it like imagine every single day of your life or mostly every single day picking up a camera and like showing the world. It can get a little bit crazy. I love it and I appreciate it and it's my favorite thing in the world and I'm so grateful that I get to share my life with you guys from all over the world which is crazy but if you guys understand what I'm saying, there are just some days where I'm just like not feeling myself. There are some days where I just don't want to share anything. I just want to like sit in bed and eat chips. Like I just don't want to do anything. And some days I crave makeup tutorials. Like I just want to sit there and do makeup and just talk to you guys and have fun. Like these remind me of like the good old days. Okay, anyways, I got to leave before I'm like late for my appointment. I will see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video. We are, I think Carlos and I are going to Costco tonight, which I'm very excited for. We might get bikes. We're looking for uh, good places to get bikes. So let us know in the comments. And we're also organizing part of the closet today, which I'm excited about. So I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Subscribe. Subscribe to my food eating show channel as well. I have it all linked down below. Bye.